Hey, welcome back to 120 Minutes. Chris Booker joined now by Liam of Oasis. How are you? I'm fine. A bit of a flu, but other than that, godlike. Yeah? Yeah. Why am I afraid of you? I don't know why, but I'm really afraid of you. I don't know. Maybe someone said I've got bad breath or something. No, no, I'm not afraid of your breath. Your breath seems to be all right. I won't be afraid. I don't know. Your don't perception know. is just this, uh, it's a scary thing, kind of. Like, is it? Uh, yeah, I don't know. You just seem very outspoken. Like, I was like, oh, what do I oh, ask this guy? Is he going to slap me around? Or? No, I'm very outspoken, yeah, but I tell the truth, you know. Right. You're probably afraid of me, honesty. To tell you the truth, I'm good looks or something. <laughs> Other than that, I won't be afraid of me. Okay. Well, let's, uh, we're going to talk about a lot of different things. Uh, cool. The new the new uh, reincarnation of the band, the new members, uh, the new record. That's rubbish, the record. It's rubbish. Yeah. And you mean what by that? I mean, all the tracks are rubbish except for mine on it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, how many tracks are yours? Just one, right? Yeah, just the one. Just that's one. The one. And that's the best one? Yeah, man. I think that's the thing about, oh, wait, as I'm sitting here listening to you, I think it's just the sarcasm and the cynicism. I, I, I think it's comical, but I don't know if sometimes it, it it's prints it's, in the press in the it's U.S. Ca it's comical. Comical. Comical? Comical. 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 Okay. Not comical. It's comical. All right. I just don't know if it prints sometimes, I think. Yeah, I just, I just my think, perception was... I just think life's too short to be that serious all the time, you know what I mean? It's only right. music. Do you, like, do you like the album? I, I think the album is the best album we've ever done, I think. Really? I don't expect anyone else to like it, but then <laughs> that's why we make music, because we don't make music for everyone to like it, do you? All right. What about uh, Noel? Well, he, sure. uh, he's uh, in the press talking a lot. He's a miserable bastard, yeah. Is that, is that what it is? Is it just he's miserable, he really likes the record too, or, or he I just... Think, I think he... I don't know what he likes. You'll have to ask him. I'm sure he's... I don't know what's up, he's up to. I'm sure he likes it, otherwise he wouldn't have wrote it. Sure. You know what I mean? All of that, he likes me to sing on his records that he likes <laughs> right well every time you know I, I i speak with him about that he's or you know he seems, he seems yeah he seems he just kind of slacks you a lot is it just uh the brotherly thing or is yeah. it just no, more no, comedy i think yeah I just think you it. really don't get along that no, well but often, I, I, I get along with him i don't know if he likes me <laughs> but I've, i'm down, i'm pretty cool with him you know what I mean? right i was gonna say down with him man but, you know, I'm pretty good. I'm cool with him. I've got no problem with him. You stay here. This is going to get good. <laughs> More with Liam on the way, but let's uh, check out your latest video from Standing on the Shoulder of Giants. The debut video for Where Did It All Go Wrong, right here on 120 Minutes. Welcome back. We're here with Liam Gallagher, still of Oasis. A little bit back, we played uh, your latest video, Where Did It All Go Wrong? There's really, a... did you? We did. Did you really? We did. Did you really? I think really? we're lying. Yes, of course we did. It's a different one, don't you reckon, Steve? <laughs> we played it, I'm telling you. Didn't. Just because you didn't see it doesn't mean we didn't play it. You were out meandering around. I'm yeah. telling you, we played the video. No, I was just Anyhow, let's talk about... Can, can I ask you about the song? There's a couple different versions out there. There's one that's... Um, of where did it all go on? Mm -hmm. There's one that's uh, stripped down, it's uh, not as well, produced. Yeah, well, personally, I think it's a song, and I don't like it, to tell you the truth. <laughs> don't so like I, it at all? I think it's all right, and I can understand why Americans like it, but I personally not into it. You know, I think it's like a throwback from B.A.N.L., and I don't really like it, to tell you the truth. <laughs> not because no one sings and anything, I just don't think it's a step forward. I think it's a step backward, you know. So I don't like it. But what, if people dig it, that's cool. What do you like uh, that oh, you've like. done? Besides the song you wrote on the album. I like Gas Panic. I think that's a step in. I like <laughs> in the bushes. But not, but not actually like rustling around naked in privets or anything. But I do like that. And I like, uh, I just like, you know, I just think, I don't know. I just don't think it's the best song we've done. I don't okay. think it should have been on the album. I think when you check out the B-sides, if, you, if you're into that thing over there, you find out there's better songs that should have been on the album instead of that. Hmm. Can uh, we talk about your, um, I right. guess my perception would be your fascination with America, like the Empire State Building on the cover of the new record. Do you really want to, uh, it, does it mean a lot to you to take over America no. with your, with no. your music? We'll no? never be able to take over America. That's over and done with. I don't know, we never plan to take over America. We plan to have a, you know, we plan to come and play to people in America who bought the record. And that's the end of it, you know. You know, I plan to take over my country and be the biggest band in my country and, you know, hopefully we can be big in all around the world, you know what I mean? But if we don't, we don't, but that's it, you know, I don't plan to conquer any, I'm not a Viking, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm just a guy who sings in a band. I got you. But okay. I'll do my best. All right. But America 
is hard to tour, you know, to, from England. To be big in America, I think you've got to live it. You know, you know what I mean? You've yeah. got to put a lot of time into be, being in America, and it's hard, you know what I mean, when you are living in England, you know what I mean? It's like, you know, if you want to be big in England, you've got to put a lot of time there, and I'll be really shit. It's so, a big ocean. It's a big time. So, I, so, yeah, so, like, what I'm saying is, like, you know, I'm starting to get used to touring America. At first, I couldn't handle it, because it was so big, and I... I got the needle and I put my ball and I went home. But now I'm ready to have a crack at it again, you know, and if we get bigger, we get bigger. If we don't, we don't. As long as people buy the records and people dig what we do, whether it's 10 people or 100 people or, a f you know, a million people, that's all that matters. Cool. Well, I'm not scared anymore. We still have more to talk with, with Liam here. But right now, let's check out the CMJ new music. Check Report. out the new video to Top Sunday 10. Morning Call. That's not been recorded yet. We're here with our uh, special guest, Liam, from Oasis. Let's talk about the band. You've uh, got a new reincarnation of the band. Got rid of a couple guys, a couple Pauls, and uh, new replacements. Want to talk about them? Uh, well, Where did you find them? Well, we didn't get rid of anyone. They left, you know what I mean? And we found new guys. Just just found them because we've done gigs with them before and, and they're cool. And I'm privileged to be in a band with them. I'm sure they're privileged to be in a band with me, but... You know, I, th I think everything's really looking good for the band. Has it renewed your interest in the band at all? Or is no. It... No? No, not at all. Because if it did, then I shouldn't be in the band. My band's rocking, and it always has been, and it always will be, until I decide it not to be. <laughs> How long do you think Oasis will go on for? Well, until I... You know, you know, we're in the music full stop, and that's what matters. It doesn't matter whether you sell loads of records, although that's nice, you know what I mean, people get to hear your music, but... You know, every record we write, we didn't do. And we try to write the best record that we think we can write. So we'll go on as long as we're in the music, unless we get into pornographic films or heat lamps or something like that, <laughs> you know what I mean? But I'm quite in, I'm in the music forever. Do you think uh, your brother and you will ever split ways musically and you go on and do your own thing and he does no. his own thing? You think you always record together? No, well, I don't, I personally don't fancy being a solo artist because I think that's for big-headed people. <laughs> <laughs> that would not and be me you. personally, I haven't got one. <laughs> no, I don't, I, I like being in a band with a bunch of lads, you know what I mean? I think it, you know, I just like being in a band with a bunch of lads, you know what I mean? Well, being on your own is rubbish, you know what I mean? Do you get along with the new guys? Yeah, I love them. Jam? Yeah, Gam. It's Gam. It's Gam. Oh, it's Gam. Gam and Andy. Gam and Andy. Gem. No, I love them. I love them because, and you don't need, like, with people like that, you don't need to drill them to know what they're about, you know what I mean? They're into rock and roll music, they're into the same clothes we like, you know what I mean? And that's it. You don't need a CV. They just dig what we do instant, and that's it, you know, and that's fine. And I love them. And I'll look after them, and they'll look after me, and, you know, hopefully we can make loads of great music together. Cool. Uh, you're going out on the road with uh, the band Travis. Yeah. That must be nice. You got it's a nice, show coming nice, here to New York City, Radio yeah, City well, Music Hall. Well, well, it's nice for them. <laughs> We're going to take a look at a video from Travis right now. How about that? From the rap of The Man Who, Why Does It Always Run right On Me? Who went on tour with the band Galois. <laughs> 120 minutes. Mm. <laughs> Welcome back to 120 Minutes. Booker's still here with Liam from Oasis. Here in America, the trend seems to be uh, keeping in touch with fans through the internet or, I don't know, various different ways. Yeah. What's your feeling about keeping in touch with your fans aside from well, touring? I think, well, I've got no right to keep in touch with my fans, except for touring and making music. You know what I mean? I can only keep in touch with my fans by making a song and doing a gig and talking to people like you. That goes out on MTV. MT, uh, internet is bollocks, and I'm not having none of it. There's no soul. So. And other than that, walking down the street and meeting your fans, I'm not into the internet at all. So we can so do a bit of that. <laughs> it's easy. So we can... I just don't like it, man. It, it's I'm safe not, to say you don't have a computer at home and you're not uh, chatting with Oasis I, fans. I, I, no, I chat to Oasis fans in my own time, you know what I mean? But I've got a computer, but just because of what? But like everybody else. I don't... I'm not plugged it in yet. Do you have a... Um any other contact with your fans aside from being on stage and just singing at them? Do you ever yeah, talk to them one on one? Yeah, Do you ever get out with the people? We've got a couple of papers in England called the Sun, the Daily Star, and the Mirror, and the News of the World, and they keep all the fans informed with bullshit. I was going to say on a daily on a day to day basis. So I'm sure the kids don't miss a thing. What's the craziest stuff that anyone's ever written about Oasis that you just think is untrue? It says that Noel Gallagher is the most important man in the band. 
Then that can't be true. That's not true. Which is definitely not true, is it? Because I am. You know, I was going to ask why uh, no, and you don't do interviews together, but I guess I've just answered my own question. You'd probably kill each other. Do you ever do interviews together? I know, we've just got different views on things. You know what I mean? He thinks he's the man. I think I'm the man, and that's the basic <laughs> it is. You know what I mean? You'd be a piggy in the middle. If you do, and you wouldn't be able to get your job done because we'd just be end up rap, rucking and just. <laughs> we played we referee. Fight. I'd have both ends. Uh, yeah, it'd be like, you know, we wouldn't be fighting. We'd just be going, no, 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 no. And it'd just end up childish. You know, I think I'm, I don't think what I'm doing is right for the band. And he thinks what he's doing is right for the band, which is making music. I think I'm living it. And I think you've, you know, I think we're both doing a good job. Right. Of it. Yin and yang. Yeah, but, you know, then we all step down the looks, and I think I win. <laughs> big time. <laughs> Oh, you're too funny. I am too funny. Can I get <laughs> paid for this, you please? Are, you are comedy at its finest. <laughs> can, I get some, can I give you some f***ing G, man? <laughs> oh, man. All right. You should uh, go out and pick up a copy That's of Oasis. Good. Most recent release, Standing on the Shoulder of Giants, and try to catch them soon in a town near you. Right now, we're going to check out the latest video from the Charlottes UK from Us and Us Only. Here's my beautiful friend on 120 Minutes good Tonight. Good tune, man. Good tune. Thank you, Liam. Say it.